So last night, the Destiny community was turned upside down and the results are somewhat surprising for a couple of reasons. Today we check out what actually happened with the reaction both good and bad where I also give you guys my opinion on this whole matter. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So Trials is here this weekend and to be honest although I haven't played and posted Destiny for a long while consistently I have still kept up with all the goodness in terms of news and what's been going on. This week within Trials the Adept Hand Cannon is the Flawless Weapon Reward and well with 120 hand cannons being top of the game and this specific hand cannon being top of the pile, Trolls is literally a horrible place to be right now. For reasons such as all the best players are playing together farming these hand cannons, trying to get that best roll, shitting on the likes of me and you who just don't stand a chance. But even worse than that is the amount of hackers that are currently playing. Trials is overrun by them. So even if you do manage to get to that lighthouse, there's a good chance you will have come across a hacker. Now I know people will state, well that's a PC problem only. On console it's mainly DDoSing that's a problem, and I'd agree with that too. But let me tell you hacks are also making their way onto console. This clip by Sagcat was shared with me on Twitter and shout out to him for allowing me to showcase this here. But it shows what seemingly looks like a speed hack. One's, on, one's in their spot. Actually, one is in their spawn AFK, so it could actually be them. What the fuck? He's hacking. He's hacking. He's 100% hacking. He's hacking. He's hacking. He's actually hacking. He's actually hacking. He's actually hacking. He's actually hacking. And the thing about this one, people, is it's PlayStation footage. And also within the same game, his teammate got DDoSed. So there are problems within PvP no matter what platform you play on. And moral of the story is, PvP is in a bad state, it's full of hackers, cheaters, people using glitches and exploits. And even under all of that, we have stasis spamming going on, ruining it for a lot of people. Now the PvP community have complained to Bungie about cheaters for a long ass while. And I mean a long ass while. They have also complained about stasis in PvP, and have complained about stasis in PvP since stasis was introduced with Beyond Light, and with it just taking the fun out of it. So with most of the PvP community complaining about hackers, cheaters, glitches, stasis spamming, and much much more, it seems to have fallen on deaf ears, in regards to how Bungie have responded. It's like they don't really care. Now last night a clip was shared to the world via Twitter by a young man known as Khan, who is only 16 by the way. He uploaded this clip which showed him using a Titan Stasis ability to fly around the map, which I will add anyone can do, no hack required. So he's flying around the map, lands, takes out one with a snipe and then takes out another one with a tasty mid air snipe. He then proceeds to teabag this dude so hard, there was reports his missus could taste balls on his lips. The thing about this is, teabagging is a part and part of this game. I can't remember the last time I played PvP and didn't leave stinking of ass. I laugh at it for the most part. I give some, I take some. It's just a game, people. It's just a game, people. Now why this clip kind of went viral was due to the fact the person that got teabagged in this clip was one of the community managers for Destiny who goes by the name of DMG. Because this was DMG and the owner of this clip, Khan, uploaded it to Twitter and said get fucked, nice shit game and tag DMG in it, people lost their shit. Like literally. To the point of people spam reporting the tweet so this dude lost access to his Twitter. That's how petty some people are. A lot of people are coming out and saying this is harassment. I mean harassment people. You folks talking this nonsense would not have survived the Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. Teabagging is harassment. Have a day off, will ya? Bungie were the inventors of teabagging from the good old Halo days. It was part and part of that game too. People that state that this is harassment need to consider the people who actually get harassed on a daily basis. This isn't anything but banter. And the only harassment that I've seen that's come out of this clip is the harassment a 16 year old dude has received. I 100% guarantee you, if this was me, Joker or Wish on the end of this teabag, on the end of this clip, no one would give a crap. But because it's the Bungie community manager, the world around this game just seems to fall apart. 
Now I will admit, the text around this tweet did come across as kind of toxic, I would agree. But what else can be done for Bungie to listen? Because all of that constructive criticism I have seen over the past many months, Bungie haven't seemed to take much notice of it. And a clip where an exploit on a map which is being used on a Bungie employee is a perfect statement to make in showing just how broken things are. Yes, I doubt he thought it would blow up on Twitter and just wanted to share this with his friends just to show them what happened. Tagging DMG in the tweet was just a part of the fun. I mean, he just killed and quite tastily killed a Bungie employee. But because he bagged DMG in his clip after using exploits his game is riddled with is more of the point here. Hence the nice shit game a part of his tweet. Let's not lie to ourselves. These instances of exploits are shit for the game and make it turd like. But people calling this harassment are doing nothing but harassing this young dude. He bagged the MG, whoopee fucking do. No one would give a crap if it was anybody else. And for people saying it isn't the MG's job to fix the game, no, believe it is his job no doubt to forward the complaints of the players to the devs who are responsible for fixing the issues people have. The issues people have been having for a long, long time, yet nothing has been done. And with DMG and Cosmo being the community managers, it's where people would direct to blow off that steam. I mean, yes, it was kind of a shitty post, I'd agree, but that doesn't condone adults attacking their kid for something so petty. And if you are one of these people who think what this kid put on Twitter is harassment, give your head a wobble. Anyone would think he shot in a bag and threw it through his kitchen window. He teabagged him, that's it. At the end of the day, I'm pretty sure we all want what's best for the game and for the game itself to be in a much better state. Whether you showcase this by hatred towards Bungie or whether you showcase this via hatred towards those who hate on Bungie. I honestly just think this has all been blown out of proportion, no matter your opinion on DMG, on Destiny or on the younger generation. The world we live in has so many bigger issues going on. Can we all not just get along? No? Well, I guess not. But yeah, guys, this is just my thoughts on the whole thing. Let me know your opinion on this down below within that comments section. Do you think this was toxic? Do you think it's just a little banter? But ask yourself this, what was you like when you were a kid? Because when I was a kid, I was outside falling out of trees. It's a different world we live in nowadays, people. It's all tech based and people have a much different approach to life. So just keep that in mind. Well, on that note, guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.